We have taken certain measures, Madam Speaker, to stem the gun violence on the streets of Southside Belize City. These include, but are not limited to the following. Reconfiguration of Operation Act, which was brought into force last year. The establishment of an operational command center. Deployment of the BDF to patrol the streets with police officers. Conduct of surgical strike operations based on intelligence. And embarking on a public relations campaign to enlist further support of the community. We are confident that these measures and operations will achieve the desired outcome, which includes gathering of evidence against persons who are accused of committing criminal acts, particularly murders with a view to have them incarcerated and convicted, stem the proliferation of illegal firearms and drugs on the streets, and interdict those involved in their use and distribution. Minimize the occurrence of shootings and other violent crimes within the city. Return the city to where the public can feel that sense of safety and move around freely without the fear of being harmed. Apprehend persons who are wanted by CIB or by the courts on commitment warrants and build public trust and confidence in the work of the police department. Madam Speaker, even before I assumed responsibility for the Belize Police Department, certain legislative changes were already in progress with others to be added that will strengthen the enforcement regime and facilitate the police in interdicting the criminals. These include the enactment of an anti-gang legislation which will provide law enforcement officers with the legislative authority to effectively target gangs and gang activities which are directly tied to the number of murders occurring across the country, but primarily in Belize City.